to continue our palpation tutorial, I'm now going to move caudally toward Libby's hip girdle or pelvic girdle. So some important landmarks here. We're going to start in the pelvic region. The pelvis is made up of three bones, but on the very top, on either side of the spine, you'll feel a knob, and that is called dorsal cranial iliac spine. Again, a good landmark to know as a pet owner. It's similar to the bump we have right here in our lower back on either side. As I continue down, I can take the flatness of my hand, kind of go over where I think that her hip joint might be, and where I feel some density or something poking out, that indicates where her hip joint is. This bone is called the greater trochanter, and a lot of different muscles attach to that bone. Now, the bone that Libby would sit on when she's sitting is back here on either side of her tail. I don't know if we can get through the fluff here, but it's right there. That's called the ischial tuberosity. So, this bone on the ischium and this bone on the top are part of the big bones of her pelvis. The third bone that makes up the pelvis is her pubic bone, and we wouldn't readily feel that because that's way tucked up on the inside. Now again, we moved to that greater trochanter, which is indicative of the top of the thigh bone or femur. As we come down, the next joint is her knee joint, okay? So we have the ball and socket of her hip, and then the folding and unfolding of the knee. So as we move toward the knee joint, you'll feel some prominent bones on the inside and outside, which represent the condyles of the knee, lateral condyle, medial condyle. If you trace the thigh down, the first bone that you get to, this little knob here, that's actually her kneecap or patella. Okay, good to know where that is. Then you'll feel kind of a little density, like a cord about the size of a pencil in Libby. And the next bone is the tibial tuberosity on the top of her shin bone or tibia. So that orients you to her knee anatomy. And then we're going to continue down. This is actually the ankle or tarsus. Again, there are some bony prominences on the inside and outside, just like on the knee. And on the back side, this bone that sticks out is her heel bone or calcaneus, the calcaneal tuberosity. We continue down through the foot. Dogs, if you don't remember, actually walk on their toes. And so they have four weight-bearing toes. They're named from, numbered from inside to outside. The very inside one that is not weight-bearing is a dew claw. Libby does not have a dew claw. So we start, that would be number one, and then we have two, three, four, and five on the outside. So those are her digits or phalanges of the back foot. 